What's going on y'all? Torvik here. I decided I wanted to hop on and make a song from scratch for y'all. So I'm going to do a verse and a chorus, produce and write the whole thing. Now I am on FL Studio right now and I'm still very, very new to it. Um, I've just been using this really for like a, a week or so now on and off and I am still uh, definitely a noob at it. So give me some grace as I run through the process, but we're going to make something fun. I hope y'all enjoy this video. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do on here is I'm going to set my tempo here. Um, I already know that I really love 90 BPM for whatever reason. That's just like a good pace for me. So we're going to lock in 90 BPM. I'm going to pull up Splice now. We're going to run through some samples. I have no idea what I'm going to do here, guys. I'm, I'm literally going to do this from scratch on a software I barely know. It's going to be fun. I'm thinking of some kind of lo-fi piano that I can build an entire beat around. Um, I love writing in lo-fi because it's easy for me to find lyrics and feeling in it. So we're going to start with that. All right, so I just brought in this piano sample from Splice. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all hear it. I like it because it's got some like dissonance and like seventh notes and stuff in it. That's really cool. So here she is. Since I'm going to do this pretty simply and just do like a verse chorus, I'm going to go ahead and kind of swipe this across and loop it. Now, as I'm playing around with this, I really actually like it a little bit lower. So I just dropped it three semitones from F minor down to D minor. So it sounds like this. Gives it a little bit more of a warmer sound. I feel like it's going to be easier for me to add higher melodies than if the piano is too high. All right, I'm going to open up Citrus here and start playing around with some synth parts to hopefully build out, you know, maybe some chord structure, some other uh, counter melodies. All right, so what I'm doing here now is I'm just going to establish kind of a chord structure with the synth, even though it's not the synth that I want. I'm just going to write in the MIDI here on the screen, and I can always switch out the sound, change out the melody from here. Okay, now I've definitely got it in the octave that I want, so we're going to come in here to Citrus and mess around with the sound a little bit, get it where we want it. So I'm going to solo this track really quick. The first thing I want to do is edit the sound, create like a low, warm chord structure to it. Um, so I'm going to filter this synth. I'm going to put in a lot of reverb and some effect um, just to kind of give it some space and darken it up quite a bit. All right, already we've quite a bit darkened up this sound. So I'm going to come in here and give this song a little bit of an intro. So we will have the piano here to start. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start building out some drums here. I already kind of like that as a bass. You got a nice little pretty melody. You got, you know, these synth undertones right there. So I'm going to start building out some percussion and some drums. I'm going to go on a splice and start to cycle through some drum sounds and kind of build out the exact kit that I want. And then we're going to write it into the MIDI. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and get a layer two kicks here. So I'm going to give it a real light kind of 808 kick right here. I'm also going to give it a, a layer with this one that I'm going to keep a bit more quiet underneath it. But as I build out this track, it's going to give it the punch. But largely, you're going to hear some of the depth of that more 808 kick. All right, put in a really simple kick groove here like so. Nothing to it. I'm going to add in some snare um, and then we'll bring in the hi-hats and then we'll head to the piano roll. Now I may do more of a clap here so we'll kind of see what I can find. Oh, I like that. It's almost like a, a snap sound. Let's try that. All right, let's add in some hi-hat. Let me go ahead and pick this one out there. I don't like their stock sound. All right, I'm going to add in a real simple hi-hat here. I'll probably go like quarter notes on it or eighth notes on it. See how it sounds. Now, once I have this groove in here, I can easily switch out the sound. I'm not loving that I hat. I want something a little bit darker. All right, I like that as a bass. I'm going to build out this hi hat a little bit, and I'm actually going to switch out that clap. All right, we got a solid start. So I'm going to head into the piano roll here and edit these hi hats, put in some rolls, and add some dynamic to these drums.
now that we have a pretty simple beat built out i'm going to go ahead and drop this straight into the uh, playlist mix it in a little bit and then kind of go from there i'm realizing i don't really love the sound of this clap so before we move any further i'm going to switch this out for some other different kind of snare not bad all right so it definitely needs some more texture so i'm going to go in and maybe add a little bit of like uh, patter strings to kind of build out some other frequencies here one thing that's really important is tuning your 808s you can tell here like when i play my d to the b flat which is the doesn't sound like it's quite on it. I always like to play it higher because you get a truer idea or a more accurate idea of the actual pitch of the 808. So I'm gonna do some tuning for the 808 um, and then whenever I actually play the groove, I'll then drop it down like two octaves to give it that thump. I'm gonna keep this real simple with the 808, especially because it's a more lo-fi sound. You don't want it to be too busy, too trappy. All right, so that's a solid riff. Super, super simple with the 808, so it doesn't take away from the melodies. Um, so let's bring it down. All right, there we go. All right, let's see how this sounds. There we go. Now, one of the things that I like to do every once in a while, and I do this a little bit lazily sometimes, is just add in some ear candy. It's these little things that maybe you wouldn't really notice. And I'm thinking of like a really high flitter or something like that that just adds some dynamic here. Uh, so we're going to jump in and do that really quick. All right, so now we've added in just a little bit of texture to this beat here as it kind of builds in the chorus. So as soon as, you know, the 808s are in, the drums are in, we added just a little bit of texture, some synths, and even I, I think it's like a guitar, a ukulele, this high sample. So I kind of chopped it up, changed the pitch, and fit it in here. So it was in the same uh, key and time signature as this beat. You can kind of hear it here. Here we go. Now that we have a pretty basic music structure, I'm gonna go ahead and spend like five to 10 minutes, write out a quick verse and a chorus for this, see what we can come up with as far as a song goes. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and threw together this quick verse and a quick chorus, just so you can kind of, kind of get an idea of what this beat would sound like, fill it out into a song. To be honest, I actually, it's fine, but I really don't like this song. It's pretty cheesy. So that's my precursor to that, my disclaimer, if you will, that actually, you know, I'm not thrilled with these lyrics or anything like that, but I do want you to get an idea of this beat filled out into a song, and here it is. <laughs> So there you go. Again, not not my favorite lyrics in the entire world, but you get an idea of what this would sound like. The beat is pretty simple. The synths are not really mixed in, but you can get a pretty good idea of the song structure. Anyways, that's it for today. If you like videos like this, please leave a like and a comment below. It does take a lot of time to put together, to edit, to mix, and to do this whole process. So I really appreciate y'all's engagement 
and your support. If you're not already, please make sure that you are following Torvik on Spotify, and I will see y'all later. Every step I take is in the dark So I'm afraid that I might fall What will you do if I just fall